Are you having trouble getting a prepper pantry going? I know it can be very expensive to get overflow of food and to put it up and put it away for a possible disaster, no matter what kind of disaster that may be. But what we've discovered is you can literally do this for free. Now hear me out because it's going to throw you a little bit when I first start talking about it, but pay attention. Food pantries. I know what you're thinking. Food pantries are for the poor. Well, apparently they are not. What we've discovered is that only food pantries that receive government subsidies require income verification. And that the standards for those income verifications are actually not very low. They're designed to also help people that are lower middle and, and middle class. And most pantries have no requirements. If they do have a requirement, it's that you live in the community, that you live in the county where that pantry is. And the only thing that they ask of you is how often you come. I mean, many of them, we went to four. This is only from one including the tote that I'm going to show you on the floor here in a minute. This is one pantry for one person. No income requirement, no residential requirement, didn't ask for anything. It was absolutely free just because. Because the whole purpose of the pantry, or most pantries in the United States anyways, is to distribute overflow of food because we produce way too much. None of this is expired food. And most of it is not even donations, it's overflow. This, for example, these hams, this block of ham, they wanted us to take the whole case because they were going to throw them away. They had so much extra, they're disposing of it. The same thing with the yogurts. Take all you want, no limit, because they had too much. And if, if it's not given away by the end of distribution for the day, They've got to dispose of it, which for me is a cardinal sin. They also had cases and cases of 20-pound blocks of cheese that they were giving away that were overflow from a factory that was going to be disposed of. Take as much as you want. They didn't care. Uh, bread, take as much as you want. They didn't care because they've got to get rid of it. And it's for anyone. The whole purpose of it is just to help people in the community supplement income, regardless of income. There were people there that were middle class. They were driving nice vehicles. But that doesn't mean that they're loaded, and neither are preppers. And I know most preppers, a lot of these channels will tell you, hey, uh, you need to have chickens and goats and all sorts of things at home. You need livestock. You need a garden. Well, uh, we at Penny University recognize the fact that most preppers actually live in urban areas and many of them in apartments they're not going to have a beehive they're not going to have a vegetable garden it isn't going to happen but what you can do is search your neighborhood or your city wherever you are because apparently these are in every city in the entire country for local pantries and just go and supplement we went to four different none of them had an income requirement Two of them required that you live in the county by just showing your driver's license, and the other two didn't even ask for anything. They wanted you to write your name on a piece of paper so that they can prove that they gave it away to someone. And that's it. No income requirement. There's no poverty requirement. People don't realize that they can go and get food like this for free because they think it's something that's required only for the poor and it isn't true fresh fruits and vegetables breads yogurt milk meat look at these hams that's a nice chunk of meat and like i said these are not expired this is all fresh stuff and for the purpose of having a prepper pantry all of this can be put away over here all of these nuts how much do nuts cost Big cans of tuna, big cans of uh, chunk white chicken meat, ground oats, beans, peanut butter, 
uh, dry beans, rice, pasta, canned goods. Look at these. All that beef stew. You put that up. Plenty of rice, coffee, tea. I'll show you the tote down here that we had just starting putting this up. Now you put all of this, all of that, I'll work into this tote. Right? You see there's a lot of tea and cereal and other things down here. Bags of protein powder. I mean, seriously. You live in a city and you need to put food up or any, any prepper. How long would this tote last you once it's full? You don't have storage space. You can fit two, three totes like this in your closet and you'd have months worth of food for any kind of emergency. Food and water resources, if you're a prepper, are the most important things that you can have. There's a lot of people that say, oh yeah, all you need are, is your guns and ammo, and we're all for that. We love our guns, but odds are you're not going anywhere. I mean, seriously, what if there is a pandemic? What if there was a nuclear strike? What if there was a meteor strike? What if there was a super volcano? I know that I know that seems a little far fetched to some people, but if that happened, you're not going outside. You're not going to be hunting. You won't find an animal alive. But if you have a few months worth, of, even a few months worth of food storage put up like this, how long would this last you? Just what you're looking at right here. And no, the pantries do not care if you go to more than one. It does not matter. You could literally go to four different, one a week, and have an overflow like this and fill up three, four totes like that one that we had down there. Put them away. Stick them in your closet. Stick them in the garage, whatever you got. And just write down what you have so that you can keep some kind of a rotation. Because this stuff is stuff I would eat anyways. I eat rice. I eat pasta. I eat peanut butter. I eat tuna fish. So... Just keep a healthy rotation so that nothing really gets too old. And you're good to go for months and months in an emergency. For free. Absolutely for free. So like I said, I mean, these programs are throwing the food away because they have so much extra. They're throwing it away. Don't let them throw it away. You use it. You use it to supplement your income, to get your prep going, to take care of your family. We hope you found this helpful. If you have any other suggestions, please go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.